Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranji Raj and you are streaming on The Steady Beast. So in my previous video, I discussed regarding the steps to solve the function point analysis that is the FPA in software testing and quality assurance. So this video is based upon solving a problem based on the function point analysis by using the steps we have discussed in the previous video. So let's get started. So ready? So first, uh, we have the problem that consider a project with the following parameters. Now, following parameters I have given uh, that EI is there, EO is there, EQ is there, ILF is there and ELF is there. Some value is there. Now, let us understand what is EI. EI stands for the external input. EO stands for the external output. EQ stands for the external query. ILF stands for the internal frequency. And ELF stands for the external frequency. So some values I have given 50, 40, 35, 6 and 4. Now they are saying that assume all the main factors as average. In addition, the system requires some of the following uh, components or some of the following parameters it has to consider. So when the very first requirement is that it needs critical performance. Next is the average end user efficiency. Then moderate distributed data processing. Then critical data communication. After that, they are saying all the other GSEs are incidental. All the other GSEs are incidental. Apart from this, we have other GSEs which are incidental and compute the function point using function point analysis. So this is all about the problem based on the function point analysis. Now let us move on to how to solve this problem. Now uh, we have given this table. So this table is by default. Now what this table defines, this defines the components which have been identified in the question that is they have given the parameters ILF, ELF, EI, EO and EQ and there are some uh, values or the fields which have given as low, average and high. So this values that is low, average and high for ILF, ELF, EI, EO, EQ are fixed so this remains same throughout the problem like for any other problem also you have to consider this. Now let's start. So ready? So first of all, uh, it has been given that assume all the main factors as average. That's it. Assume all the main factors as average. Means you have to consider this average column. So first, assuming all factors as average, we get. So first, we have the ILF. We just have to multiply this cross 7, cross 10, cross 5 states that we have to multiply the given value with this. So we will list out ELF in this sequence that they have given EI, EO and EQ. So let's start. So first they have given ILF that is 6 and we have to multiply with this average that is 6 into 10 that is 60. Then ELF, ELF is given as 4. That is 4 into 7, that is 28. EI is given as 50, 50 into 4, which is 200. EO, EO is 5, here it is 40, so it is again 200. And EQ is 4 into 35, which comes out to be some value that is 140 and you have to estimate this that is this everything comes out to be 628 so this we have calculated all the UFPs so this you can say as the unified function point based upon all the main factors uh, given from the average now next we have to calculate the TDI that is the total degree of influence from the table which we have seen in the previous video based on step 2 so let's move on to that. So basically this uh, UFP is the components like this components into their weights. So that's what we have done here. So the very first step is calculation of the UFP. Next we move on to calculating the TDI that is the total degree of influence. So 
TDI is given as like we had the five parameters in that uh, which were the critical performance, the average end user efficiency, then moderate distributed data processing and critical data communication. And they have also mentioned that assume all other GSs apart from this as incidental. So we have to calculate this. So TDI uh, will be writing it in a bracket means whatever four parameters which they have given that will calculate based upon this and plus the other GSs which we consider. So we will separate it out uh, for simplicity purpose, we will not gather it all together. So first they are saying that it's critical performance. So from the table we get the critical performance as 5. For critical it is, you, you just have to consider the value of critical and you just ignore the other part after that. Just 5 is for critical performance. Next is the average end user efficiency. For that it is 3, for average it is 3. Next is moderate distributed data processing. For moderate it is 2. And finally again it is critical data communication. For that it is 5. And they have mentioned that assume all other GCs to be incidental. So for incidental we have the value of 1. So this comes out to be 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 15 plus 1 that is 16. So TDI comes out to be 16. Next is, we will calculate the VAF that is the value adjustment factor. This is calculated by having this TDI multiplied by 0 0.01 plus 0 0.065. So in my previous video, I told you that you need not change or manipulate any of these values. Just put the value of TDI into this and you will get the answer that is 16 into 0 0.01 plus 0 0.065 and you get the answer as 0 0.225 so VAF you get as 0 0.0225 and next and the final step is to calculate the AFP which is our motto for solving this that is the adjusted function point that this value VAF multiplied by this value that is UFP so this is UFP, the 628 multiplied by, that is 0 0.025. So the value comes out to be 141.3. So these are the points. So this points will actually determine how many number of test efforts in terms of the time or in terms of the resources or the manpower or skill required to complete the actual testing based upon the software testing life cycle. So this is the final answer that is the AFP which uh, is calculated based on the function points that we have given. So this is all about the function point analysis and software testing. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or queries related to this problem, please put it in the comment box below. Thank you.